Okay, I'm Colin Drury, uh, Professor Emeritus at SUNY Buffalo uh, in the Industrial and Systems Engineering Department. I'm also President of Applied Ergonomics Group. And what do you plan to present during your keynote today? Uh, I really want to talk about uh, broadening the base of what we do, um, trying to get uh, beyond the things that we're comfortable with and look at some of the uh, other things that are there in ergonomics human factors that we don't always get to use in our everyday jobs, trying to uh, push the boundaries a little. And uh, what do you hope that attendees take away from your presentation? Uh, I hope that they uh, realize there are opportunities out there um, where their uh, current methods and skills don't exactly fit the problem, but there are uh, ways that we can do in ergonomics human factors that lets them deal with these. Gives that they've got the skill set there somewhere, uh, it's just that we don't often use it. Is there a particular presentation or session or event at this conference that you're looking forward to personally? Oh, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed the uh, Ergo Cup. Um, I've met a lot of people who are wildly enthusiastic, uh, doing very good projects, uh, bringing in both um, uh, reduction of injuries and um, quality, productivity. Uh, improvements, ROI changes, um, integrating it well together, doing it as participative ergonomics where it's not just somebody coming in from outside telling you what to do, it's a group uh, involving the operators and the local engineers and technicians. It's been very impressive. All right, well, we certainly look forward to your keynote. Okay, thank you. The trouble is, when we go into a new work situation, you know, I've spent a lot of time in the industry. One of the nice things about being in the university in the IE department um, is that you can spend as much time as you like in the industry. And it's all useful to teaching students, getting grants, working with people, doing examples, and so on. So uh, I spend a lot of time in a lot of different factories, which is why I like the Ergo Cup, because I'm able to go around to uh, tire manufacturers and aviation manufacturers, and I've been there and done some of that already. So it is great stuff. But when you go into a new situation, you're not really quite sure what to expect. Uh, you don't quite know what the problems are going to be when you get there. And they may not be the problems that the management has got you in there to look at or the union or whoever has expect you in there, um, it may not be the same problem. And uh, this is one of the issues that uh, I got into I ran a, a center at uh, the university, um, concerned basically with uh, keeping jobs, making sure that companies were profitable enough to stay around Buffalo and not move uh, offshore somewhere. Uh, and so we got to work with a lot of companies and most of their problems weren't ergonomics. Most of their problems were general problems you get in industry. So we had a team together doing it. But the point is, going in, you didn't quite know what problems were. You knew this company uh, was having some difficulties, uh, but you didn't actually know what they were. So we took a team in uh, of managers, engineers, um, economists, all sorts of people who could potentially help in this. And then spent a couple of days with that team in there trying to understand what the real problems were. Then we can tackle the real problems with the company. But uh, if you go in and listen to the presenting symptoms, they're important, but they're not the whole story. So uh, it may not be the presenting symptoms that are the thing that we need to deal with. Uh, and in fact, I got a prop from my friends at uh, GE over there. Did you all get one of these hammers? You know, if you only have a hammer in your toolbox, guess what sort of jobs you're going to tackle? Nailing jobs. And not every job is a nailing job. Some of them require other things. Um, and we have got other things in our background, so what I'm going to try and do today is talk you through um, some of the experiences I've had where I've been surprised at what uh, was the real problem, and some places where I've been delighted that I was called in and it was in fact the right problem to start with. So can we build on the obvious success we've had that some of the economics going on around the country? Um, I'll give you a few examples. Uh, this is a cutting table for making jeans and um, I blacked the person out on all these pictures and I've actually forgotten which plant this was in. Um, but the uh, issue that was the presenting issue was musculoskeletal disorders. Uh, people are lifting things, bending things, cutting things. Um, but there are other issues in there. Uh, cups, you're using very sharp machinery to cut through 20, 30 thicknesses of denim. Um, lighting, you 
can see the lighting reflecting off the surface, surfaces, which cuts down the visibility of what they're doing. Um, incentives are always an issue in, uh, in the sewing trades. So you don't quite know when you get there what the problem is going to be.